Yeah, come on in there. I don't like you. <clears throat> I don't know where he is. He's in this area somewhere. Right there, look at that guy. Yikes. Look at the size of that thing. Whew, whew. <laughs> Live action. Yeet, yeet. <laughs> Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. What's up? We're back trapping. I'm just kind of getting a feel for the land here. Just found a nice run going into this hut right here. God, there's some big snakes in this sucker. I'm gonna pretty much gonna run here. You can feel it perfectly right here. Perfect run right here. I'm gonna put a trap in there. Find the run, stick it down in there. We're gonna block the hole the best we can. No gloves required. It's nice. It's just nice. Uh, warm out. I think there's probably one right here too. The looks of it. Looking hard. Hard bottom there. We'll probably put one there just in case. We run there. <clears throat> okay, so I got the two main runs covered. It's hot, 80 degrees in waders, whew. But uh, I got a few sets out. I'm gonna set some more in this next little spot. 
but I just don't think there's many muskrats is what they thought. So it's a little late. I think if when this was full of water, there's probably tons, but as the drought comes along, they start moving on to new places. Whew, it's a workout. Right here, right here I got a spot where a muskrat's climbing it out. I still don't, oh, right there, finally. Finally found some droppings. It must just be from all the rain we've gotten. Just ain't seeing the droppings. Look at this guy. Frogs all over the dang place. So definitely need to put a trap there and over here. Because we know they're climbing in and out. And I'm sure there's a few more spots along here. When I came through here the first time, I found a few, a few bank dens. This right here is a little levee. And then we're going to go down along here. I set that hut in the beginning. It doesn't look, I mean, the run felt hard, but I just don't think they're living in the huts anymore. It's really shallow. All right, so we for sure got them coming right out here. I'm gonna make this little, a little lip here to get, so then they'll step on them perfectly. Some hard ground. The old number one right there, waiting for him. Activity here, we're gonna build up this bottom here a little bit. I want them to climb out where they've been climbing out all this time. Okay, that's gonna be perfect right there. I don't think anything of it. That all secure in case the raccoon comes along. Just about all the cover they got is going to be along these banks. There's no cover out in the middle. And the bottom's rock hard. Got a trap there. I'm gonna put one right there. You can see where they're climbing in and out. That's the only sign of a muskrat I've seen besides the shoeings of the muskrat. They're definitely going up in that hole. Same way I came. Probably find multiple. You guys know I just use wood labs. Slide them on there. I think they're like five eighths thick. And I just ripped down two, two by sixes or whatever I got. Try 
There are a lot of frogs around here. Not sure on that one, but definitely on a hard bottom. Right here. This one actually goes underneath the driveway from the looks of it. We'll use a uh, circle trap for this one if I can get it set anyway. Beautiful though. Find that rod. These are RBG traps, round body grip trap. Put it right there in that rod. One of these has to have somebody living in it. <laughs> Still don't think there's that many muskets here. Oh boy, here's a nice one. I just found another run right here. Actually, don't look too bad. That was the only round body grip trap I brought, so. Grab another one of these square guys out of here. They might have found where they're running right here. Right under the road. This one's definitely got to be active, I would say. There's a divot. It goes like this. See how deep it gets? Down, hard bottom, and back up. It goes like this. We got a divot here. I'm going to come back away from it a little ways. I'm tempted to get cage trap for that one, but I don't know if it's big enough for that. God, I think that bottom is solid. It's a very solid bottom. change my stake up so I can get it down deeper without killing myself. All right. That feels that's a pretty good run there. We'll, we'll see. I don't I don't think I can put cages in anywhere here. Not, not big enough runs it's not deep enough. All right. I got a cage trap. You want to make sure your doors work. Got my run right here. It goes underneath the road this way. I can lift up the vegetation a little bit and get down underneath of that vegetation right in the center of that run. That one door is being dumb. We can't have that. You got to make sure your doors work. I just don't trust them that much. This one's being goofy because it's been beat up and bent and everything else. There we go. All right, I'm somewhat comfortable with that. They get beat up. 
Okay, find that run. Get down in the center of it. Doors still work. We'll see what happens. There's another one in. We've got two over here. And then there's a pretty good feed bed across here. We're going to go see if we can set up. Make sure you mark your cage. It's right there. Mark it because uh, they're hard to find sometimes, especially in this dirty water. Over here, I had a huge snake. It looked like there might be some activity here, but so far, I didn't see anything. Besides that damn snake and these big bullfrogs. I don't know if they might find a, a run that was so good that anybody could catch something on it. There's an old feed bed. And there's that gigantic snake. Jesus. I sure hope you don't go on my cage strap. He's going towards it. Well, guys, I've done sweated, sweated a lot. Well, it's not a, not that big of a population, I don't think, but the ones that are in here, they're eating under this road right here. I, I believe they're probably tunneling all the way through and they're coming into this ditch. So, it's no good. If you're trying to keep water on this side over here, it's not gonna work. So, you know, I found several dens right here that are heading under this under this driveway, so. Alright, that's going to be it. We'll see what we got tomorrow. Stay tuned, guys. Cheek.